This tutorial is going to teach you how to create stamps so that you're able to uh, use these stamps and create um, interesting repetition of shapes in your image. So here's an example of a stamp of um, a butterfly that was made. So the first step is going to be to choose what you want to create your stamp out of. And as an example, I'm just going to use um, a picture of a butterfly. So for your practice, if you're using this as one of your practice images, Go ahead and open up a picture of a butterfly or find something else. Maybe you want to use a stopwatch or something like that. Uh, but, but get creative. Choose something simple that you're able to outline and go ahead and open that up as the first step. So right now I have my butterfly opened, which is what I'm going to be making my stamp out of. And I'm going to add a new layer so that I'm able to uh, trace this butterfly and get rid of my background layer and have just my uh, traced image. So adding that new layer is definitely an important step. Um, starting out, I'm going to choose a brush size, so I'm just going to use um, this brush that has a little bit of an angle or a shape to it, um, but it doesn't matter whichever brush you want to use. I'm going to change the size so it's a smaller brush size, so I'm able to um, accurately outline everything. And selecting my new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to use my tablet and outline the butterfly or the shape the best that I can. Um, if you already did a one of the practice tutorials adding um, a graphic outline or sketchy outline, you know, two different uh, techniques that you can use for that. Um, but it's up to you which way you want your image to look. I'm just going to outline it using that graphic outline. Um, as you're outlining, if you need to zoom in to look at a little bit more detail more closely, uh, hitting command and then the plus in the upper right hand corner of your screen is what will um, go about helping you to really zoom in and see what you're drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish outlining this. So take a couple minutes and open up the image that you're going to use for this um, and start outlining all the details that you want to include. So now I have my butterfly completely outlined and what I'm going to do is hide my background image layer. So I'm going to go to my layers panel and hide that background image so you can see uh, my butterfly completely outlined and the next step is going to be to turn this into a brush so I'm gonna go up to the top of my screen to edit and I'm gonna go down to define brush preset and this is gonna come up and allowing you to type in a name so I'm gonna call it butterfly stamp and then I'm gonna hit OK and right when I hit OK you'll notice that it automatically turns your paintbrush into that stamp um, so if I click, you'll notice that it continues to add butterflies to my image here. Um, a couple of things you can do with your stamp. You can change the size of it. So I'm going to lower the size so you can see those little butterflies in the background. And I know that they're not really showing up very well, so I'm going to adjust my opacity all the way to 100%. And then I'm going to go back to my image that I want to start adding the butterflies to. So I'm going to go to this image here. And I'm going to practice and just add the butterflies in an interesting way. So I'm going to maybe start and have the butterflies maybe coming out of her hair. So I'm going to add some smaller butterflies um, in her hair here. And as they start to come out of her hair, maybe I'll adjust the size of the butterflies to get a little bit um, larger as they come out. I can also change the angle of the butterflies. So maybe I want them to look like they're flying out of her hair so maybe I'll have them facing away from her hair so the opposite direction here so you can kind of see if you hover your brush out you can see the direction that they'll look um, and then I'm just going to slowly increase the size of my butterflies so that um, again it looks almost like they're flying out of the hair so I'm having them interact with my um, image in an interesting way and again, I'm just playing around changing the size. Something else you can do is change and adjust the opacity. Um, so maybe you want some butterflies um, in the sky as well. So I'll change them so that they're a normal direction here. And then I'll lower the opacity so that they're not as bright. Maybe push more into the background. And I'll change the size so they're a little bit bigger in the sky here. So this is making them kind of blend in a little bit more. So come up with an interesting way to add your uh, stamp or add your butterflies. I'm going to continue to just vary them, changing the opacity and the size, the direction of the butterflies. So 
So again, I'm just repeating them in an interesting way. So here's an example of what my finished image looks like. So I decided to crop a little bit off the right side to focus more on uh, the butterflies making it look like they're flying out of her hair. You'll notice if I zoom in on my picture here, there's a lot of overlap and the size of the butterflies are a lot smaller as they're closer to the hair. Then I, as I zoom out, they get bigger as they come out to make it look like they're coming towards um, the viewer out of the frame. So um, be creative. Again, change the opacity and the size of your brush and just the angle a little bit as well.